starts with the search for solid ground and safe harbor. The search for our golden world. I'm Suvi Anwar, part of the Nexus Science Team and the Science Officer assigned to the Tempest. I'm here to explain the basics of the golden worlds we're planning to inhabit. Without mass relays, our first wave of arcs will focus on a pocket of stars called the Helios Cluster. In a galaxy of one trillion stars, Helios has rich resources and seven promising golden worlds. We have labeled habitats one through seven. These worlds represent our best chance to find a new home. Golden worlds should not just be capable of supporting life, but should also be rich in minerals to supply our colonies and the initiative itself. The Nexus requires vast quantities of Helium-3, water, ice, and Element-0 to continue functioning. The more resources we gather, the more upgrades we can complete on the Nexus's infrastructure. The more colonists we can then awaken from cryosleep. There's no way to know for sure what state these golden worlds will be in until we get there, but our surveys have given us some preliminary data. Habitat 1 is an arid world with vast underground rivers. Despite the dry desert climate, temperatures are well within a comfortable range for settlement. Habitat 2, a large moon orbiting a gas giant, is expected to be rich in minerals and could potentially act as a resource for generations to come. Habitat 3 plays host to lush jungle canopies and rolling hills, while Habitat 4 scan suggests an immense wealth of liquid surface water, making it an ideal candidate as a life-sustaining world. For our Turian and Quarian colonists, Habitat 5 appears to be a perfect home for dextroprotein life. Scans suggest Habitat 6 has wide oceans and a temperate climate. Last of all, Habitat 7 currently has all the markers of a tropical paradise. This will be our first destination upon arrival 600 years from now, and quite possibly, your future home. Pathfinder teams will investigate these planets to determine their viability. This includes everything from pacifying unforeseen threats and allying with potential indigenous populations to solving environmental problems in an attempt to secure suitable placement for settlement outposts. Once an outpost is established, word is sent to the Nexus and more colonists can be awakened to continue the migration process. For those of you taking these first steps, it should also be noted that some worlds may already be the sovereign soil of an existing culture, a concern we will need to treat with respect. Our new home is out there, waiting to be discovered, and these seven worlds represent our best chance to make that dream a reality. We've done everything in our power to give you a head start once we arrive, but the next steps now lie firmly with you. Your path in Andromeda is our future, and every step brings us closer to home.